hi guys and welcome back to another video if you're new welcome to my channel my name is mercedes helis and i do like lifestyle content if you guys want to join then go ahead and join the family and yeah guys let's get started with today's video because i'm super super excited all right guys so for today's video as you probably read by the title i am going to be unboxing or showing you guys my steve madden shoes so a little backstory so i have been eyeing a few other boots that steve madden has because lately i've realized that since winter is here and i'm really into fashion and stuff like that i really want to invest in certain shoes that i want to get for myself sorry guys the boys are playing so you might hear a little noise in the background but yeah so they're just playing in the room but yeah guys so um, like I was saying, I have been eyeing some of their shoes, especially like the Cypress one. I think that's the one like it's been going around on TikTok and I think I've been seeing them everywhere. But I was like, those are cute shoes. But when I saw these, I was like, no, I need these shoes. These are way better. I, For me, at least for my style, I prefer these better. And I feel like they can never really go out of style. And that's what I'm looking for when it comes to shoes. Shoes that don't go out of style, that can I can use them multiple ways. And... Yes, let me stop rambling because I can keep on. You guys need to see the shoes. So I have actually already unboxed it. I did an unboxing shorts for YouTube and I am going to be showing you guys now the shoes. But yeah, guys, um, I'm not sponsored by Steve Madden in any way, shape or form in case you guys are wondering, but if they wanted to, I would not say no to them. <laughs> so this is the box. So it's pretty big obviously because it's boots. And let me put these back here. Um, this is the boot. So the boot that I got is the Hartley. Hartley. I don't know how you say it, but this is she. That's the name. And I'm size seven. So I'm gonna be talking a little bit about like the sizing, my thoughts on it, like just a quick review. Like I said, I've only worn them twice. But not out, just in the house, um, trying them on. So I'm just going to give you guys my thoughts on it. And then I think later on, once I have used them for a while, I'll probably give you guys like a extended review if you guys want to see that. But guys, this is she. Hello, Hartley, Heartline, whatever your name is. But look how gorgeous these shoes are. Like, tell me they're not cute because I will put you on. Sorry guys, the boys. I'm gonna probably be pausing this a lot because I'm by myself at home with the boys, so they like to interrupt when I am doing a video or anything. <laughs> but yeah, guys, so these are them. If I'm not mistaken, I think they're leather. I can't really tell you for sure, I don't remember. And it has a fleece lining, very thin fleece lining. They are a very, tight form fitting to your legs um i don't know exactly the measurements but i'll probably give you guys measurements down in the description box so you guys will know like the size of like the calves and everything in case you guys want are wondering but guys like i am a platform girl like i love platform shoes and these are my kind of shoes like Wally's not like a big fan of them. These he actually didn't mind. He said they're not that ugly. But my other platform shoes that I do own, he's like, those are hideous. I don't like those. But that's my style. That's my preference. I don't know what about them I love, but I really do. And I just love like the design of like the heel itself. It's like a triangle almost. And it kind of reminds me of one of the Naked Wolf shoes. And that's another reason why I wanted to buy um this style of boots because maybe in the future to get my naked wolf shoes in the future but i wanted to first test these out and see what my thoughts were on these shoes and i honestly really really love them so for a quick review and rundown about my thoughts on them so far and my tips for you guys in case you guys are planning on buying them all right so first off i'm going to talk about sizing so sizing i will say they're true to size because the shoe itself when i have my feet already inside and everything and i had like a thin sock like the no-show socks and they fit really really good one thing i will say though trying them on putting them on was a workout as you guys might expect it doesn't have any zippers on the side for you to like be able to put it in easier 
but I did find the way that worked for me to put it on my shoe which I'm most likely probably going to show you guys how I do that later on and I will show you guys a few like outfit ideas of how I would style them myself but that'll be at the end of the video um but yeah guys so it is a little bit hard to put your feet inside because obviously it's super tight and it doesn't have that much like stretch to it like the actual calf area but once you got it i got it in it was fitting perfectly fine and i love how tight it was on my calves for my type of calf i don't know other people might have bigger calves than me and i'm gonna say that then you would have to size up but for myself it actually fit really really good but if you guys want to wear this with like really thick socks, um, tights for like the winter time, I would say then to size up because of how snug it already is. So if you're going to wear tights with it, I would say that no, because it might be way too tight and too constricting on your calves. And then you guys might not like it. So if you do like wearing like this style of boots with like tights or really thick socks for the winter, I would say to be off that. And if not, then to size up. And I'm sure it will still fit really, really good. Another thing that I would say is that the sole or like the bottom part right here of the shoe, I don't know if you guys can tell, but it's actually kind of slippery. Compared to this, I would have preferred having the virgin on this side than on the actual heel. When I was wearing them here in the house, it was actually slipping a little bit since it's like super soft, as you guys can most likely tell so i would say to put something on it so it doesn't slide once you're walking especially if you're outside or somewhere that's going to be slippery like the floor but yes so those are my like my quick little review on the shoes other than that they're actually super comfortable to walk in like because it's platform and like the heel is not really ugh, don't mind my squeaky share like if you look at this, this is how your ankle is going to actually be. It's not going to be this high shoe at the heel since you have the platform here at the front. It's actually very comfortable to walk. So if you guys have ever wanted to wear platform shoes, but you're scared because it's going to be uncomfortable or like it's going to be weird walking, trust me, guys. Like I was scared at first too when I ever wore my first platform shoes, but now these are my favorite style of shoes and I will say they're very, very comfortable. But yeah, guys, other than that, that's all of the things I can think of right now in regards to the shoe. Obviously, like I said, I haven't really worn them out. So I can't tell you the wearability of them outside or for like a long time. But I will say that I am in love with them so far. I hope you guys enjoyed this little unboxing slash review on the shoes. And now to get to that good part, which is going to be me styling these shoes and showing you guys how I would personally wear them. And I hope you guys enjoy it. And I will see you guys on the next one. Bye-bye. All right, guys, so here I'm going to show you how I put on the boots. So as you guys see, I am folding over the calf area all the way down as much as I can. And this just makes it a lot easier for you to, like, put your feet inside. Um, as you can see, I'm trying to put my feet inside. And you have to, like, really flex that ankle area to really get it through. And it's just basically, like, wiggling and wiggling and pulling until you get your foot all the way in and as soon as you do that it just makes it a lot easier it's just basically the ankle part that is a little bit hard to try to get in but folding it like this as you can see just makes it a lot easier mm -hmm.